Okay, my name is Sophie. I am a mum to one little boy who is a nightmare. Um, I've dabbled in fitness for a few years, which is great. Um, but obviously having a baby meant that fitness kind of was pushed to the side. Um, and now desperately looking to kind of get back on track. Not that I don't know what I'm doing, but from a, like an accountability and a I guess a motivation perspective. Um, Want to get back up and going and, and just have a bit of support from that aspect because it's very easy after a long day with a baby to just sit back and eat a tub of ice cream and cry into a glass of wine. <laughs> um, I do a lot of work so I'm kind of in the digital marketing space and do freelance work um, and I've also just started a new business called the Mum Collective which is a, a fashion um, brand for breastfeeding and pregnancy um, so as you can imagine extremely busy and therefore working out does not currently feature in my life at the moment which is fine um, but trying to kind of find a way for it all to fit together. When I first started I probably got into a bit of a bad routine in that I would work out seven days a week which is obviously not sustainable in any way um, but really got into weight training over kind of cardio but did cardio as a bit of a bolster slash warm up slash I guess fat loss type addition um, <clears throat> but really got into weight training and really enjoyed it and kind of found my way with it more than any other working out that I've ever done. When I got pregnant I tried to work out but because of morning sickness it was very difficult and then once I'd fallen out of the routine it was like oh I can't be bothered to work out. Um, but I did do some kind of Pilates and yoga during my pregnancy because to be honest it was pretty much all I could stomach um, but it kept me at least moving a little bit rather than just becoming a potato on the sofa eating chips, which is pretty much all I could stomach in my pregnancy. <laughs> I first started, um, I remember going into Pure Gym and looking at the fitness, fitness plan I had on an app and being like, right, okay, so I need this, this and this and I need to go and get some dumbbells. Right, I need to go into the weight section. Right, it's full of men and I don't really want to go there. And then women naturally just end up going on a treadmill or a bike or whatever because it's out of the way. And I remember thinking to myself, do you know what, no, we deserve to be able to go and get dumbbells if we want to. Because the amount of times I would have a pair of dumbbells and a guy would come up to me and go, are you nearly finished with those? And I'd be like, no, I've got like three sets left. And he'd then linger around until I eventually caved and went, you know what I just can't have you stood near me so just take them and go and I think there's a massive there's been a big shift in the perception of the weights area in the gym or I hope there is um but I mean I've not been to a gym for two years um because we started to get all of the equipment at home and we had the space to do it um and I think for me, I enjoy the flexibility of having the kit always available at home. <laughs> In experience, that's for sure. I feel like, because I've had like, not coaches as such, but kind of inspirations in the past where fitness is concerned, I think to have someone who's not a typical like influencer off Instagram or anything will be really, really motivational for me because, you know, they've been through the ropes, they've been put through the paces, they have, you know, all the experience and all the knowledge under the sun and therefore be, I guess, an influence but in a completely different way and I think that'll be helpful definitely um, and because she's a mum, there's that, you know, element of relatability there and she gets it, I imagine. <laughs>